Back to the Lab with Jordan Moore and John Jackson on Trojans Live. Back on Trojans Live at the Lab just across the street from campus. It's Jordan Moore with John Jackson. And uh, on the phone with us now is T2, Terrell Thomas, the great USC defensive back in – hey, you know what, J.J., how about this? We had a giant on last week in Devon Kennard. We had a giant <laughs> on our pregame show in Steve Smith. We got another giant in Terrell Thomas. I and wonder who's doing the schedule. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go Big Blue. Uh, yeah, T2, uh, was it, uh, Terrell, we saw you at the game on Saturday. What did you see in terms of watching uh, your Trojans on the field? Well, first and foremost, man, I just want to thank you guys for having me on. And, uh, you know, we got a W, man, and it's good to uh, – Catch up with my old buddies, man. Class of 03, some great memories being in the college and uh, getting a W at homecoming was just a great experience. Yeah, tell us about it. You know, anybody in particular that you were really happy to see? I mean, there was a lot of you guys here that played on those, you know, on those great teams of the past. That you know, just by coincidence, things sort of lined up for Khalil and a lot of you guys, right? Well, of course, man. And, you know, everybody. You just can't sing it on one person, but. You know, just being on the sideline, shooting jokes, uh, you know, looking about nine, ten years later, and, you know, a lot of us have kids, you know. I think Khalil's going on four, Sammy's two, you know, Thomas <laughs> Williams, you know, asking questions on what to do. You know, Scuba Steve has a couple. It's just nothing but jokes and reminiscing and, you know, just accomplishment and, you know, enjoying the, the football game and homecoming and obviously getting that W at the end of the end of the night just uh, made it all worth it. And what does it mean, you know, as a player, when the former players come back and, and really show what's maybe different about this program than a lot of other programs out there? Well, I mean, that's been the difference in the last couple of years, to be honest with you. So I applaud uh, Coach Helton for, you know, making a tremendous effort to get the alumni base back involved. Um, this is just a scratch of it. You know, it's a bunch of guys that are hungry to get back to help the program, to mentor, to help and win and motivate and teach and just be around the program to help in any which way we can. And uh, for a while, we were kind of shut out, and uh, it just feels good to be welcomed back. You know, I know you've been following SC and their record, but do you realize your Rancho Cucamonga Cougars are having a pretty good year? They're 10-0 and right now. Of course I am, man. <laughs> Come on now, we got a brand-new field, and I'm a little upset about that. You know, I left Rancho, they got a brand-new field. I left USC, they got a brand-new field. But, uh, you know, shout-out to Coach Bias and all the great work that he's doing. Coach Moverhill, who was my head coach, who is now the AD, that is, uh, you know, leading the troops. And I'm just proud to be an alum of Rancho Kamanga. You know, you got – we got uh, Avril Spicer, and now we got uh, Chris yep. Hawkins out there balling as well. So uh, Rancho's holding it down at USC. You know, T2, we talked to you early on in the year, and uh, we, we, we did a little video piece with, with you, which I think we're going to release this week. But, and sat, you sat down or, or talked to Iman Biggie Marshall, and a, a similar type corner that you're both big physical corners, but the game keeps evolving where they just don't let anyone put their hands on anyone. How difficult is it to, to play corner and be big and physical in, in, in 2016 football? Well, it's always difficult to play corner, you know. Um, you got your partner over there, John Jackson, who probably used every cheat in the book. To get <laughs> <out>. but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, being a, a big physical corner, it, 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 it's tough, especially where, you know, they want a lot of points on the board to keep everybody excited. But you just have to learn how to play within the rules, you know. You have to really understand these rules. When these um, when these refs come on campus during camps or during the games, you got to ask questions and Find out what you can get away with and what you can't, and just you know, it's a slippery slope. Playing a deep, playing defensive back is one of the hardest positions of the game. So being a physical corner on top of that makes it that much harder. But if you learn to use your body, your strengths, and all that to your advantage, you can be a really good corner. Yeah, Terrell, I know you had a great year, a great career here at USC, and of course the NFL. You know, sort of the same. You know, how how is the lifestyle? I mean, is it? I mean, every growing up as a kid, you have you envision you know what the NFL or your dreams or what, realizing some of your dreams, how is that going for you? Is, is it everything you thought it would be? You know what, man, it's surreal. Um, blessed, um, to, to say the least, you know, to be a part of the fraternity, uh, be a part of 1%, you know, all the injuries I've had to overcome, and even the shortcomings I had in my career in the NFL. I'm just uh, extremely blessed for my opportunities that I had at USC and in the NFL, and more importantly, the um, the platform and uh, the foundation that USC provided for me to be able to be successful in the NFL, to even get there, to be, um, you know, to be resilient, to uh, just be determined to overcome, you know, any, any and everything and to continue to fight on. So uh, looking back at it, you know, catching with some former guys, man, you know, 
I feel as if we were probably the best recruiting class in college football history and, you know, catching up with those guys, and you know, coming in as young bucks and, you know, now having kids and family, uh, some being Super Bowl champs and Pro Bowls and all pros. And it's just an extreme, uh, extreme blessing being a part of that uh, select group. You know, you mentioned the injuries that you had to battle through at, at times in your career, and ultimately, you know, you have some bad timing with injuries in the NFL. But you know, I'm just thinking back to some some of those seasons that 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 you, that you have to sit out, and we we always never talk about these guys. I always wonder from a fan's perspective, right? Toa Lobendon just disappears, right? He gets hurt early on in the season, and he's just sort of gone from a fan's view. What's the hardest part? For, for a player that's going through that? What, what advice do you give to a guy that, that does have to sort of sit out that year? Is it, is it the rehab? Is it being away from the team? Is it missing out on things? You know, what, what, what's the hardest part? I mean, all of the above, to be honest <laughs> with you. But if I had to give you any advice, it's just take advantage of that time. You know, you, you, you have an opportunity to get ahead. And, you know, it could be a shoulder injury. Well, you can't really get in the weight room, so you better get in that classroom and make sure that you go on your X's and Q's. And if it's a lower body injury, then you better be, you know, on your upper body and getting strong up there to give yourself a competitive advantage because, you know, as you're sitting at home rehabbing, resting, you know, your, your opponents out there either playing or getting better, or it could be somebody in the same position. So it's, it's all about outworking your opponent. So at the end of the day, you know, college football or any type of injury, at the end of the day, is all about outworking your opponent and taking advantage of any opportunity you can. And I know for me, looking back at my time, uh, I was a safety in high school. So, you know, after my ACL, I just said, you know, I got to learn this corner position. I just stayed in the classroom, and it paid dividends for me. It gave me an opportunity to catch up on the field when my athleticism wasn't there because I was able to put myself in position mentally, alignment, assignment, and all that. So uh, that's just the biggest thing, in my opinion. All right, T2, thank you for checking in with us. It was great that, that you were there, and, and great to see all those alums, as J.J. said, littering the sideline with legends yeah. on homecoming Saturday. And the team responded with a great performance, probably not a coincidence. I'm sure you guys will all be watching, too, Trojans, heading up to Seattle to take on Washington on Saturday at 4.30. One of the men will, the, will be on the plane taking up two seats, spreading things out. My guy Zach Banner will be next on Trojans Live.